Hello wise people, this is Taurus July psychic reading with all the messages we get of any area um, in any area of your life. At the end, as always, I will ask if there is anything in particular those in love with Tauruses need to know. If it doesn't resonate with you, remember to watch your rising, your moon and your Venus sign as well. And let me think. Thank you all. I just want to make sure I get all the messages out there, everything I <laughs> wanted to say. Um, thank you all who interact with the channel keeps me motivated to put in the time and energy so let's have a look what we get i'm going to read out the cards for those who are interested in knowing what has shown up for you guys because i know some would like to know and although to be fair in a way you shouldn't pay too much attention because if you are savvy with tarot you would tend to do the reading yourself and it would not be clear it will confuse you because we all have a different way of interpreting and i don't as i always say um just read the cards as such anyway i will tell you just because i don't like um to be stopped on tracks so i shall treat you the way i like to be treated and it will be your choice whether you want to disregard or want to get stuck into it yourself as well so tauruses we got the knight of chalices we got the emperor we got the ten of swords we got the judgment card and we got the knave of chalices as well so i would say as a lover that's the main thing that comes up for Taurus is a as a lover whether a man or a woman you're feeling blocked and you would like a change to happen and some healing to come into your life but you are the one that has to do that some of you women in particular may may block a new love so take whatever resonates with you then we have the Tempest, we have the knight of wands the three of chalices the high priestess and the magician for some tauruses the peace of mind and the balance come from communication they get and a little bit of entertainment they get from a woman or a man with strong intuition very gifted people and it's like they are trying to get to keep busy and get the insight they need some others are more focused on children and family and their role as a um, parent and some of them are focusing and trying to keep distracted by traveling or some other type of entertainment positive type of entertainment i don't see anything wrong there but definitely what i could say is not very positive is the fact that tauruses are trying to keep themselves distracted and maintain the status quo which is not quite the real life they want to live is not quite the reality they want for themselves it is the one they created but it is not the one they want then we have the three of wands the queen of swords the hierophant the seven of, of pentacles and the star so i would say that taurus is really have to make a plan and be very honest with themselves and really look at their situation as they would advise their best friend extract yourself from from it from the mid, midst of it uh, because when you are really caught up you can't see the woods from the trees so just look at your situation and try to advise yourself with honesty 
as you would and objectivity as you would a good friend somebody who would come to you for advice because soon you will have to make a choice about about your relationship especially about um, officializing your relationship so anything like marriage or um, civil partnership that needs some sort of recognition and you guys to be fair really have to make this choice for the future for some reason it looks like as much as you're trying to postpone this you will have to make a choice for your future in that area of your life but I feel you also have to transform your love life because it's not quite what you want and I do believe that your choices will be influenced by some wise person's um, healing words and um, insight and I suppose support as well whatever way that support whatever form that support comes in it could be for some people it could be a Scorpio um, family member woman if where it applies it doesn't have to be we don't have to stick it could be any any woman with um, psychic abilities or it could be a Scorpio person and for some could even be a family member and um, yeah definitely a change in your a massive change in your um, status civil status so whether you are married or not you will have to face a decision about this kind of change and what else I get let me see yeah for some there is another um, opportunity love opportunity but I don't feel you people are that focused for some could come through an older woman so she may try to recommend you some other person there is long distance between you and this person or there is yeah there is long distance between you and uh, between you like um, living abroad between you and this um, new love um, opportunity there is good communication as well but I feel you are blocking it I will ask if it's good for you to block it or not or what else how can I clarify that blockage there change death massive change it would mean you're blocking it because it would mean a massive change that you're not prepared for not at the moment or you feel you're not prepared for yeah and the world it would mean like a complete turnaround in your personal life it would be yeah too much i would say and you're not ready for it however that being said i do believe you need to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for changes to come because there will be an end of a cycle and there will be a complete rebirth in your personal life in your relationship um tauruses now what is important for those in love with tauruses to know i got the wheel of fortune and we got the knave of swords so massive change coming through communication especially communication at long distance and we got the eight of swords as well and we got the five of wands so those in love with tauruses are not really finding their peace of mind because there is a massive change coming that affects you guys and it can lead to a positive outcome in the relationship i got the ten of chalices but i will have to ask you know it, it could it could go both ways it really depends i will ask for clarification on this it could mean your wishes come true or it could mean your world 
turning around so it really depends um, I got the knave of pentacles the six of wands it really depends on the reason for your the reasons behind your wishes so why do you wish for a certain outcome and how attached are you to a certain outcome you see and obviously it applies to your partner so to the Taurus person as well so if it's about solid foundations money and fame or good position financial position um, that's not the right reason and it causes limbo and delays in getting to that outcome that you want and let's see three of swords mm, hearty so very important what your reasons behind and the lovers very important what the reasons before your desired outcome um, is people it really has to be authentic and unconditional love and I leave you with that because you really need to ponder on it and you really need to decide what being authentic what being true to yourselves and what unconditional love is for you and whether that is indeed the foundation of your relationship and the reason behind your desired outcome in the meantime I wish you all to be loved and be happy.